fuck, can turn sexually active predators. I don't know. I can't think of anything that does yet involve sexualness. But let's begin. I'm just gonna wait for this to load. My eye feels funny. Um. Yeah, SCP 7 b The corridor one. Which is scary as fucking hell, especially when you do this. But I'm gonna show you, kinda like a narrative style. We you put yourself in that person's socks, and you see what it feels like to be locked away in death. I mean, dark hallway being raped. I mean, what? I mean, okay, let's go. Where am I? I heard that caution, I bang on the door, I am bang 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 With no reply, I had no other choice than to go down the dark corridor, which was on the other side of the room, which you couldn't obviously see. Me and Kyle here, we were walking down, along, in a some road. Dun dun, hey shit! Play the best song in the world, or I'll eat your souls. I'm sorry. As I reached floor two, I realized that they didn't give me a sign for floor one. God damn it, here comes the freaking chills again. As I kept on going, I knew not what to expect. As they had said, called this SC an SCP, I see nothing wrong with it. Just a very dark, dark, fucking dark, 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 dark corridor. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. What's the word I'm looking for? I'll tell you when I think of it. Maybe five minutes to the video, but I'll tell you when I think of it. Hey there, sexy. I mean, uh, what's it called? Is there just at four? I don't, um... Not proactive, that's an acty care thing that I use. Shut up. Um. Productive? Predatorial? No, what's that fucking word where you're precautious? Something like precautious. Whew. As I neared the dark room, I knew not what to expect. Except for a split passageway, apparently. As I ventured down the right tunnel. Fuck! I realized I hadn't gotten anywhere in life. And then I went down the left path. The path of Jesus. Jesus and me and the Lord said Something son, lay your weary head to rest. I'm sorry, that was my gospel impression. It's pretty good. My hair's messed up, I'll tell you that much. I need to get a haircut. Then I'm telling this to you. Get out of my life! Joke, don't, please. I love you. I don't. I mean. <laughs> As I walked down the path, my monitor's dirtiness had created illusions. Honestly, it's really filthy. I need to clean the screen for once. The power of Satan! Tells you. No, wait, Jesus. I mean, the power of. Wait, is it Jesus? Or is it Christ? The power of Christ repels the Christ. There you go. Uh, it's the same person. As I tried to establish radio contact, I felt a shiver fall down my spine. As the noises that I heard was all. What a I'm gonna rape you in the horse locker room. What? If you When I heard that I dare not look back, as the sound had seemed to come from behind me, as headphones really help make things more realistic direct to your ears, I just kept on walking. I'm not sure what to expect. Everything's so bright. 
As I heard them trying to reestablish radio signals, I got really pissy. I'm not pissy, I mean, nervous, and my nerves are falling apart. I could feel, I could literally feel them fraying. God damn it, I really don't like my room. As I walked down further, I could not help but think, what happened? How did I get placed in here? Perhaps they were trying to tell me something when they tried to breed me the past two times, but I could not have heard. As I heard what seemed to be a spring- Oh, bed! Uh. Paul seems surprisingly normal, probably like 80 BPM. I'd say 90 more, 80 or 90 more accurate. As I saw that face, I stood frozen in my tracks for about five for a minutes. And while I approached it, it suddenly disappeared. As I heard a breathing go down my spine, I dared not to look back, for I feared that I might have been there. And I did not want to die, nor did I want to see any evil. Oh, god damn it! My heart is like weak from all horror games. If I die playing a horror game, god, please don't be it, I don't want to go that way. As I neared every corner, I became nervous and nervous. Uh, I felt the sweat started dri dripping down my forehead. As I hit floor 13, I knew not to ex what to expect. And I was surprised I'd made it this far. I felt that this monster was tormenting with me, playing with my soul, enjoying as my nerves frayed. And he said, Play the best song in the world, or I'll eat your souls. And I said, when I reached for 415, I guess something terrible is going to happen. It's going to involve exploding tits. I need to calm down. I really need to fucking calm down and listen to something funny. SpongeBob's funny, I should listen to that after this video to rehabilitate myself. They weren't right this time, I expected there not to be a hole again. I was wrong. For the second time, my instincts have betrayed me. As my breathing increased, I became slight lightheaded. I needed to take a break, but I felt not care. I felt it was not the right place, nor the right time. If I felt that something was going to appear, it would automatically shatter my nerves, break my brains. I'm not sure I put it that way. I'm getting really lightheaded now, honestly, sincerely. The screen is imitating what I'm seeing right now almost perfectly. No, I'm not high. I don't do drugs. As I ventured down deeper, more staircases, more staircases, I felt that I would be sending into madness. Please don't appear anywhere. Thank God. My teeth hurt. As I saw, we don't look through it, and I saw nothing but in more corridors. As I walked further into the mine, my voice increased, my heart rate this is pacing right now, it is beating incredibly fast, not really, only 110 probably. It's a sort of staircase feeling, I began to shit my pants! Sorry for the yelling, but it's make it as realistic as possible. And then you know where to go, I go, I began dizzy. How long I'm dizzy, I should stop playing this game right now, but I'm not gonna. I'm a trooper, I'm gonna stay with it just for you guys. And I felt more and more springboard bed and loading. I felt like saying, Jeff, get a better fucking bed. I remember when you was in your trailer park and you were ghetto as shit. And I'm pretty sure that is you, get your ghetto ass, getting up in the bed, going to get some more cheese and whatever the fuck you ate for breakfast. 
My front teeth are tingling for some reason. <gasps> okay, it's not a message from beyond. That'd be fucking creepy. <laughs> My teeth! Oh, Jesus Christ! Okay, um, as I hit floor 19, I knew not what to expect. Except, when I saw the zigzagging corridor, I felt as if I might be going in circle. I didn't realize that I couldn't be going in circles, as i would never taken a zigzag before in this entire trip. Well, at least I think so, as my mind was scratched and boggles from all the inter previous things that I've seen. It's really hard doing this narrative, but it's to make stuff from the spot like this. Another! I felt as if what I just said had become mute. As in... As I kept on venturing through, I just had to go right this time, hoping it would be right for once! Realizing I was wrong again, I ventured back. I kind of fucking ruined the moment, you know. Hearing something vaguely reptilian, reptilian, a little. <sighs> it sounded much of a, rep a huge reptile breathing out. Oh, jeez, that fucking disoriented me. As I heard a breath down my spine. A huge chill just went down my fucking armpits. I'm not sure my I said my armpits. Jeff, honestly, at one moment I thought, Jeff, get a better fucking bed. It is so annoying. I used to roommate with this guy in college. Terrible roommate. Holy fucking shit. Was he ever annoying? After his listening to that toy so many times, I am out of that. Uncle Phil, is that you? I mean, fat boy, I know you fat, so, and you're, oh, when you're really trying to you're always like, <gasps> feeling as if I had not been cheated enough, I would have had to go right again. And I was right this time. David Wright's right passage of rightness has passed, thought, passed, succeeded for once, there you go. As I ventured down into the corridors, I knew not what to expect, as I hit another just another corner, another turn. I felt as if my mind was going insane, as if I was actually just going in an infinite loop of staircase and turns. And my breathing has calmed down by this point. I do not know what to expect. Floor 22 had for me. I felt as though I might have been in for a shock. This is all. Oh God! It's <laughs> <laughs> Again! Don't have mad. Don't have mad. I shall fear no evil. I shall fear no evil. I shall see no evil. See her. Great fucking job. No, honestly, this is all live commentary, though. I swear to God. I swear on my grave. This is all live commentary. Damn. That was just perfect guess. I swear I'm not doing shit like that. As I heard the breath again, I did not expect that I had not actually seen the monster as floor 24 approached. I realized I had not seen floor 23 marker. Perhaps I had skipped it. Perhaps in my race of horror and terror, I have skipped floor 23 or just ran past it so fast. Can't really run in this game. <laughs> um. Floor 25. Another topsy turvy zigzag passageway. As I hit it, I realized I was in for a shock. No, I did not, actually. I'm just walking right now, pointlessly. I expected another monster sighting, but then I realized I was no psychic. No more accent was turning to Scottish a bit. Transformed from it, uh, probably English, like uh, Britain, to Scottish, maybe to American next time. I don't sure though. Twenty-six. Moriarty, go on in Moriarty at your service. And it's all the mask again. I turn my accent back to my normal one. My real life accent. It seemed as if I whenever I got scared, uh, for some reason, I, my voice would change. As if a different personality would come over me. 
floor 27. As I hit that, I realize I've, I've gotten, I've met me walking out. No! The game's over. The game is over. It was like if you said Ray. Oh, like if you subscribe, subscribe for that terrible fucking ending. I hated that so much. If if never again, unless popular demand, of course. But for likely myself, never again. <laughs> so like if you enjoyed, subscribe. Um, drop a like for that uh, girly screams as uh, the father depicted. So see you guys next time.